Hi Stampers, this is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pleased to show you how to make this card. And the technique today is faux metal. And that's what this little design, it looks like it's embossed right into a metal piece. So let's get started. I am using the Season of Chic bundle. I'm not sure if it's still a bundle, but uh, it has a stamp and die set. I've used these pieces, this this big, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's a netting, it looks like netting underneath here, here and here, the leaves, and I did use the stamp from the set, this particular leaf. You want sort of an outline-y kind of stamp. It seems to work better. Okay, so I'm using a, you don't have to use black, but I'm using a black piece of cardstock. It's probably two by three or, again, the dimensions will always be on my website. So I'm just using this small piece and I will take my Versamark and you need a pretty juicy pad for this <clears throat> because it, um, you just need a juicy pad otherwise the embossing powder won't stick as well because you're stamping the entire image. So I'm stamping the whole piece and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it's all stamped. Looks like I missed some down here. Okay, and now I'm embossing this in copper foil or copper copper embossing uh, powder, and yeah, it'll cover the whole thing. And now I will emboss it, and I will be right back. Okay, I have embossed this piece and just heated it up with the embossing powder on it. And as you can see, maybe, uh, it's sort of bumpy. It looks sort of on a bumpy side. There you go, you can kind of see it. But anyway, that's how it is when you just emboss it like that. So now what I'm going to do is, this, this part is, you have to work quickly with it. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. I'm taking my stamp, getting it ready, and I'm putting embossing or a Versamark on that part that I just embossed. And now this is probably not necessarily the way that some people do it, but this is the way that I did it. You can do like three layers and get the same effect, but I didn't want to do more than one, more than two. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my embossing powder, I'm putting it over the top, I'm spreading it around, but I'm not dumping it. So there's quite a bit of embossing powder on here. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's kind of thick. And that's what you want. So I'm just going to set this aside. And I'm going to take a tweezers. I know it's not ours, but it's what I had handy. Just take a little bit of an edge. Be careful that you don't dump all the embossing powder off. And I'm going to emboss this. I'm go and I'm doing this from the underneath. take a bit. Okay, so I'm doing this from underneath. You want to make sure you don't touch it, the uh, top of the tool. You don't want to touch this onto your cardstock because it could burn. And this gives a smoother image. You can see how smooth it is. A little bit more to go here. It just takes a minute. And you don't want to be shaking your gun. You just want to keep it in one spot, get it all on the boss. Okay, now this is the trickiest part. So now I'm going to put it down 
Make sure it's nice and heated up. And then turn it off and stamp. You don't want to waste any time because if you do, then it will not work. And in the event it doesn't work, you can put more Versamark on it and re-emboss it. And that's how you get that image. It just melts itself right in there. Now if this didn't, like if I miss some parts, I could just heat it up again. It'll melt the powder or melt the whole thing and then you do it again and put it on there. You can add more embossing powder if you need to. So that's basically the technique and one thing then that I've added, I took some stays on because the memento will not work on the um, on the foil, it will just come right off. So I'm using stays on and I'm using a blending brush, taking some of this and I put my gun down so I don't move it. Okay, so now I'm sponging inside that image. And it kind of defines a little bit, and I'm doing it a little bit on the edges to give it a more weathered look. And that's just a little bit of extra that I did for it. Oops, put my stays on. You have to keep covered up because it's alcohol based and it will dry out. All right, I'm going to remove this piece. Well, now we got from another class, but this is all full of um, what do you call it? powder, embossing powder. There we go. Okay, now we will put the piece together and I have all these pieces. So I have some, it's on Pretty Peacock and piece of, uh, well, what's it called? It's, no, it's, I want to say cinnamon cider. I know that's not right. It's in a copper, copper clay. And then this, this piece with the design on is from Earthen Treasures, or Earthen Textures, Earthen something or other. Now I will put some ribbon on. This is from the also copper clay in color ribbon. I'm putting the adhesive directly onto the card to keep it nice and flat. Gives it a nice, this is full of a lot of dimension. Put it on the back, like so. All thumbs right now. <laughs> and then I will put this on the card. Maybe. Next I will put the netted stuff on. I don't know what you want to call it, but it looks like a net. And I am cutting this in half first because I want it to be um, I want to spread it out a little bit. I'm trying to find my other scissors, but this will have to do. So I'm just kind of cutting it in half. And then I will take a piece of, or a little bit of tape, tape runner, and put it on this side and then this side. And the reason why I'm cutting it in half, so you can just see I have a little piece of tape here and here. I want it to extend the hole wider than the piece is for the card because this will go over the top of it. I just wanted to show more. So you see you have a about an inch gap in between. Next I will put our image onto the cardstock and I would suggest gluing this because it does curl from the heating up and the amount of embossing powder you have on there. Just make sure it's nice and flat. Hold that a second. And then our leaves, I will just do the same thing, add a little bit of tape. All right, more tape runner go. Add a little tape here and some on the other side. And we'll just put this right here and one over here. And then you can put this on with dimensionals and that will help keep it down. The larger dimensionals will probably be a little stronger. I typically use five. 
you want to make sure because it will curl. And then I have one little fun thing that I've not used before, and it is the metallic enamel effects, the basics in copper. We have uh, these come in a set of three, copper, gold, and silver. And then we also have another set, just basics, and they are pearl, uh, kind of a red, reddish color, and a gray color. Okay, so now I'm just going to add three dollops. So gently squeeze it, and it has a little peak on it. Here, maybe I can try the last one this way. So it has a little peak. You can kind of see the peak, but then it flattens out in just three. And they're shiny when they're dry. They take about half hour to dry. So just keep that in mind when you're doing multiple cards that you need to set it aside. And then for the sentiment, I just took the Thinking of You stamp and embossed this in the copper as well. And I put a dimensional on the right side of the uh, sentiment and on the left side I just glued it so it it stays one level it doesn't go kind of wonky I can't set this down because it'll ruin my well, I could move this okay so there is the card on the inside I stamped the other leaf that we have in copper clay and we have a beautiful card for fall and it's a little bit unique so thanks for watching and have a great day